I'm doing pretty good, um, you know, considering. Um, but yeah, we've just been doing lots of physio and, um, you know, other types of therapy to try and get me back to, um, you know, my, my old movement, I guess. Um, but, but yeah, I'm doing pretty good. It's just good to be home. A lot better than being in a hospital room, that's for sure. There is definitely things that are, you know, I'm quite restricted in doing. Um, like, you know, reaching above my head or, um, you know, picking things up off the ground. It's quite, quite a long way down these days. Um, but other than that, um, I'm kind of managing to start to, you know, put, put my clothes on myself and things now. Um, and, yeah, I mean, every day getting a little bit better. So Things like, you know, putting your socks on and off, you don't really, you know, think of that to be a very big thing until you can't do it, you know, and having to have someone else there to put your shoes on and off is, you know, um, a lot a lot different to what you're used to. Um, so, you know, every every day, you know, you notice I can take my sock off a little bit further or uh, something like that. Um, you know, it is pretty cool to see that things are slowly getting better. It's definitely been a challenge. It, I guess all it's really going to do is build character. It's a, it's a big thing and everything that I'm going to do, f you know, for the rest of my life is, you know, uh, I'll be maybe a little bit r restricted or, you know, um, things because of the eruption. And, you know, it's, it's definitely going to, you know, change the way I will live my life. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a pretty big thing. I definitely didn't expect, you know, the, the amount of support that we did get. Um, you know, it was a, a, lot, a lot of people from all around the world and, um, you know, it's, it's awesome to see that they took time out of their days to just, you know, uh, let me know that they're, you know, there for me or anything like that. It was, yeah, pretty awesome. It really helps to kind of keep your, keep your spirits up, you know. It inspires me to keep going, I guess, and um, keep working hard. I remember basically everything up until um, getting to the wharf here in Whakatane. Um and then from there it was just, I guess, straight off to the hospital and I don't really remember much after that, um, other than, yeah, waking up in ICU and a whole lot of tubes and stuff, you know, hanging out my nose and, um, uh, yeah, I was, I was in a coma for two weeks. Um, and then when I when I did actually come out of the coma, I was still you know on on a lot of different drugs and things, so um, I wasn't quite there for the first month. Um, but you know, it, I've got small memories of things that happened in the first few weeks. But um, you know, you've got to kind of piece it together. I was um, in um, one of the groups that got picked up by um, one of our boats, the Phoenix, um, and I think there was a little over over 20 of us that all got onto that boat headed straight straight in um, on that boat and then there was a few few helicopters that went out and picked up people after but um, yeah I was on that that first boat I kind of knew what I needed to do um, I guess I knew I needed to you know wash wash the stuff off my face and um, I just I knew that you know it would only be an hour and a half or, or so and we'd be back in at the wharf and so it was just kind of a, a long trip home just kind of trying to you know stay I guess awake and just constantly reminding myself and had others around me reminding me that you know we were nearly back and you know, it was all going to be all good. Of course I was I was frightened a little bit um, it was a pretty scary thing um, but you know it kind of all came down to that like fight or flight kind of thing. You know what you've got to do to, you know, I guess survive and that was all I was really thinking about doing at the time. I've been in touch um, with a few people uh, that were on the island that day and um, I had some people in, in the hospital with me um, just down the hall and um, they, they stopped in and said hi just before uh, they went back over to America. So that was, you know, pretty awesome um, to see that, you know, I'm, you know I guess not alone, um, other people going through a similar thing. Leaving your, your room to go down to the gym to do physio or something like that, you'd quite often bump into some of the other, the other people from, from that day and pretty, pretty cool to see these other people that have you know, been through the same thing that I have and come out you know, on, on top, I guess. Even just being able to you know, 
talk to someone that's you know kind of actually understands what you're talking about and you know it, it yeah it does make a big difference it's uh it's pretty awesome all of the people that were there you know helping they were all doing you know their their best to help us and you know we'll all you know be grateful um, forever for that because um, without them you know there's a good chance that some of us might not actually be here so um yeah definitely definitely going to keep in touch with a lot of people and you know just keep up with other people's progress it's a lot busier these days um you know we've got constant appointments and and um things that we have to do in terms of my um rehabilitation and um it does take a take a toll on mum i guess you know she's she's constantly um doing all of that but it's uh, i've actually had my my older sister here staying with us as well during lockdown and um you know, she's been a great help. She's been cooking our meals and uh, things like that. And you know, without her, would be would be pretty screwed. And of course, you know, my my dad, um, <laughs> he's yeah, he's been great. He's um, you know, w once again, without without um, all of the support that I've had from mum, dad, and, and my sister, you know, I I, I wouldn't be where I am today. The way I see it is, there's nothing I can do about it, um, other than you know, try my hardest to get back to where I was before the eruption and so you know there's no point in I guess looking at it negatively um, because you know it, it has opened up you know a lot of opportunities while it has you know shut some down so you know um, I, 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 yeah, I, I accept it I guess you know I, I don't I don't um, you know, I don't have any negative feelings towards, you know, the island or, or anyone um, that was involved that day. So, yeah, everyone just tried their best. It does sh send the shivers down your spine a little bit, give you the goosebumps, but I just can't wait until we can jump in our boat and get out a little closer to, you know, go have a closer look. Um, I'm, yeah, I, I, I don't blame the island. I did work quite closely with Hayden and, um, he, he was actually training me to do a lot of a lot of things. I was working with him quite a bit. Um, just just in the weeks before the eruption, um, I had just started my inflatable training, um, starting to ferry people to and from the island, and um, he was kind of the one behind that, getting me out there and, and starting to do that. So, um, you know, I'm so grateful for his help, and um, I guess just very sorry for his family, and um, yeah, very sorry for their loss. We had uh, Jacinda came and she, she said hi to uh, my family. I was a little bit too um, knocked out to, be, to, to meet her, but missed out on that one. With the Give A Little, we had so many different people from you know all around the world all donating um, to help with my recovery, and that you know, it's just amazing. It's you know we would have you know I don't know what we would have done without all that help. So um, you know thank you so much to everyone who did. Um, you know, donate and support us, um, and also for all your kind messages that you left with your donations, you know. Um, once again, real, real bit of a mood lifter, I guess. Um, and then, you know, of course, the local community um, who, you know, did so much to also help us uh, and my family while we were having a stay in Auckland um, while I was in hospital. And, and then, you know, close, close family, close friends, um, they were all there to, you know, give us meals and and things while we were up in the hospital and um, you know once again without them we, we, we would have been in a you know, pretty tough place so you know, thank you so much you know, to everyone who's helped.